everyone, it's Katherine, and today I'm going to show you how to change the color of images in Procreate. So this is a great tool for digital planning because if you have a sticker set but it doesn't exactly match the colors that you're wanting to use, you can change the colors to match your planner or your layout or whatever you want to match. Um, it's very easy to do. So to get started, I've already pulled up Procreate and I've already pulled up a blank canvas and now I'm just gonna pull in an image. This is an image that I drew to use as a digital sticker. So in order to import it onto this canvas, I'm gonna click on my wrench tool, and then I'm going to go to my images, click on insert a photo since I have it saved to my camera roll, and then pull in that image. So this is just a coffee mug image and it is already black. So this works best with black, um, but you can do this for any color image. Um, it might not work as well for lighter images, but I'm gonna show you a way to work around that because there's a few different ways that you can do this. So for black images, um, this method works very well and may or may not work depending on the color of the image that you're trying to change. So first you're just gonna select your color. I'm gonna select a color from my color palettes, but you can also go to your disc to select a color. And so you can see that my dot changed color is up here and now it's pink. So I wanna change this to pink. So you wanna make sure the layer that that image is on is selected. Um, that's very important because if it's not selected, it's not gonna work. So my layer one image of the coffee mug is selected. So now I'm just gonna drag this dot and drop it. I'm gonna make sure it's touching the outline and drop it and see how it changed all of that to pink. So that changes all of the connecting lines. Um, so that's why it didn't change the heart because the heart is not connected to the other line. So to change the heart, I would just do that same thing. I would pull this dot and drop it and now it changed the heart. So that's one way that you can change the color. Um, but you might get kind of an outline. This, this image doesn't because it was already black, so it changed the color really well. That's why I was saying it works best for black, but if this was a lighter color image, it might leave some specks in the design where you can still see the previous color. So if that happens to you, there's a way to get around that. Um, I'm gonna undo everything that I just did, and now I'm gonna change the color another way. So this other way, to change the color, you would go to your layers and you would create a new layer and then make sure you're on that new layer. And then you would just draw a shape around the image that you're wanting to change the color of. So I'm gonna just draw a box. Okay, so when you draw the box or shape or whatever, you wanna make sure it's completely connected. You don't want any gaps. Um, I'm gonna just do this right here. Okay, so if there's any gaps, again, it'll fill the whole page. It won't just fill the box, but now I've got my shape and it's completely connected, so now I'm just gonna drag and drop. And now it's a pink rectangle. So now I can change the color of this mug by clicking back on layer one. I'm gonna double click and click select. And then I'm gonna come down here and click on invert selection. And you can see when you zoom in, there's a bunch of moving lines in the shape of that coffee mug. So now I'm gonna go back to layer number two. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna select clear and now it's changed the color to pink. So this actually has a little bit of a black outline because that black layer is still underneath it on its own layer. So you can either hide that layer or delete that layer and the black is completely gone and you're just left with this pink coffee mug. If you wanted to fill the image, um, if it's just an image that's an outline kind of like this and you wanna fill it in with your own colors, you can do that by selecting a color and dragging and dropping the dot again, but instead of placing it on the outline, you would just place it in the area that you wanna fill and you can fill it area by area. So that's another fun thing to do. But anyway, that's how you do it. It's really easy. Um, if you want to save this as a digital sticker to use in GoodNotes or another digital planning app, you need it to have a transparent background. So what you would do is you would come down here to your background layer and just make sure that's not selected. You want it turned off and then it'll turn the background to gray. Um, it looks gray, but it's actually transparent and you know it's transparent. I can't zoom in on it, so I hope you can see it in the video, but you can see a grid behind it and that's how you know the background is transparent. And then you would just go to your wrench tool, you would go to share and you would select PNG. You have to save it as a PNG for it to have a transparent background and then click on save image and it'll just save it to your camera roll. And now when I go into GoodNotes, I can add an image like I would a sticker and it's gonna look like it has a black background, 
but it doesn't. It has a transparent background. And so the thing about Good Notes right here is it brings it in the, as the canvas size, but then you would just go to crop and then you can do a little freehand crop around it to just get that sticker. And see, now it's just the coffee mug and now I can resize it however I want. So that's it. Um, it's super simple, but feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all. I'm happy to help. I'll leave all of my information in the video description. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials and digital plan with me videos. And check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies that you can download now.